At just two years old, Orelai hasn't experienced many heat waves. How about that? Yummy peach. Put that up there. But the lure of Bogger's fresh fruit and temperatures topping out in the 80s finally drew her grandmother out of hiding from the sun. If there's not water in a pool or something nearby, we've been pinned up in the house. With the heat index climbing well over the 100 degree mark for what seems like weeks now, Terry certainly hasn't been alone. A family friendly farm, which typically draws 2,000 people a day to its orchards on the weekends, has seen that number cut in half. For us up here at this market, our bread and butter is our pick your own traffic. Um, and this heat has, like recently, has kind of uh, made that wane. No one wants to come out and pick peaches or cherries or blackberries or whatever in 100 degree heat. The high temperatures have also played havoc with the crops. The blackberries, peaches and apples are all coming in early. And while the drier weather produces a sweeter fruit, it hurts the size and the yield of the crops, the bulk of which are sold on the wholesale market throughout the state not to mention the increased costs of irrigation to keep them from drying out. We spend a lot of time and work, you know, trying to get water to all the crops. We can't get it to all of them. With the heat wave returning over the weekend, the message is simple. Pray and do a little rain dance for us. <laughs> we need rain really bad. If children like Orelai are going to keep enjoying the fruits of their labor. Are you going to eat some of those peaches? She loves them. In Carroll County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.